Steve Scott, we are tracking a wet Saturday. Yeah, it's not going to be great for us. And on top of that, the cooler air that's going to be in place. So uh, it's a good day to stay inside if you can. Maybe, you know, just do some house chores or maybe just curl up under a blanket on the couch if you want to do so. But it's going to be partly cloudy and colder on Friday. Then rounds of rain on Saturday and much cooler. Morning temperatures going into next week dropping into the 40s. So that's the next thing that we're alerting you to. And as you can take a look at the first alert radar tonight, we are nice and quiet and we have the potential of strong to severe storms today. You're thinking, well, what happened? And what happened was the cap was in place. We thought as this cold front was going to be moving through, there was enough instability it would bust through the cap. However, the front was a little bit faster for today, and that instability really wasn't there. It was further down towards the south. And as you take a look at the radar in motion for tonight, we are in the all clear mode, so uh, really not a whole lot happening for us. So uh, the cloud cover is still there, and we can see that the cloud cover as we went through the day today, it was showing up. There's the front right there, that thin green line. And as it was moving through the south sides, we did see some storms develop down near Hamilton and it continued to push its way down to the south where there was temperatures warmed into the 90s today and better instability. So the potential was there and thankfully we didn't see any severe weather here in North Texas. Rain chances though go up for your finally Friday night and then into the weekend 100% coverage for us on Saturday for North Texas. Saturday night, a lot of rain around even into Sunday morning. We have the rain sticking around. You see that on the first alert future cast. Here's the GFS model and going into Saturday morning. Here's the rain by the time you're waking up and rounds of rain on the way off and on through the day on Saturday into Saturday night and they even through most of Sunday morning. The rains there by midday though. I think the rain comes to an end and we'll start to see some sunshine peak out. How much rain can we expect? Maybe another two to two and a half inches of rain in some localized spots on top of a ground that's pretty saturated. We're not really dealing with drought conditions for us, so maybe some localized flooding this weekend. Look how the temperatures are now dropping off after topping out in the mid 80s to about 70 degrees right now at DFW. So we have partly cloudy skies, a north wind at 21, so it's a bit cool out there. Our dew point in the mid 50s. Uh, we have temperatures sitting at 75 Lancaster to 61 at Decatur, where the front hasn't made its way all the way through yet, still in the upper 70s in Tyler to the upper 50s in Bowie. So overnight tonight down into the low to the mid 50s, the majority of our reporting stations. Tomorrow it's going to be a cool day, a cooler than average for us. We make it up to about 70 degrees under partly cloudy skies uh, across North Texas, maybe 69 in Bridgeport to 68 in Bottom. So uh, not the brightest, sunniest day out there for you. Uh, the weekend, a cool one for us, Saturday 61, Sunday 63. Your first alert seven day forecast shows for Earth Day, a cold morning, 48 degrees up to 71, but then by next Wednesday and 30, Thursday that is, uh, we're going to be seeing a 30% chance of showers and storms Wednesday night and temps near 80 degrees. Scotty, thanks.